you know when you went to university, uh, they taught you ROE, means return on equity, huh? This property is return on ego. <laughs> this was an overindulgence by me. Uh, it's just that I wanted to do something quite unique and exquisite. And uh, I have a, an art collection in here. I have a whiskey collection and I have a wine collection. So it, it makes money. But, you know, if you, if you look at it in terms of the investment that I've got here. And also I think I owed it to Port Elizabeth to give something back. You know, there is nothing like this in Port Elizabeth. I think there's probably nothing like it in certain most parts of South Africa. It's a very unique property. You know, I look back and uh, you say, would you do it differently? Uh, a lot of my colleagues think I'm a lunatic. And I'll tell you why. Is that uh, because work's my hobby. So I work, uh, I work hard, very hard. You know, my day starts very early in the morning. Uh, I go to bed early though, and, uh, and it's seven days a week. Now, they say, well, why don't you play golf? Because I love sport. I play golf, you know, and I watch a lot of rugby and I watch cricket and all these things. And uh, uh, whether I'm playing golf or whether I'm sitting at my desk at, in my office in the afternoon, I've got probably the same amount of satisfaction out of sitting there. I wouldn't do it if I didn't, if I didn't like doing it. The, the Mathis Collection is a, is a unique collection of, of private game reserves and boutique hotels scattered all around Southern Africa and we have a few properties abroad and, and marketing arrangements of properties uh, internationally as well. Shamwari is actually a prime example of where land got destroyed for agriculture and we managed to get it back to conservation, stocked with animals and now we've got the big five here, we've got the large herbivores, the predators and the normal game as well. I think one of the most uh, incredible things about Shimori is, is the fact that it's, a, it's one of the biggest private conservation initiatives in Southern Africa. 20 years ago there was nothing here, domestic livestock, today we have a wildlife experience second to none. In the challenge is to try and promote conservation so that in future we can't get cats like these that have been abused case that can be list out there. Eagles Craig is a wonderful place to stay, uh, especially for honeymooners right through to anniversary couples. Um, we've had several marriage proposals here. This is a truly unforgettable lodge to stay in. The spa experience at Eagles Crag Lodge is something you'll never forget. Uh, Oceana Beach and Wildlife Reserve, it's uh, situated in Port Elizabeth. Uh, the uniqueness about the property is the fact that it's a reserve that flows out onto the beach and then uh, also out into the ocean obviously so you can incorporate both the animals as well as the uh, marine life. This female in particular, you see, like I was chatting, she's got two sons, a coalition of males here. We like to know who the father is, you know, as far as genetics are concerned. And so what, what us as Shamari do, and I'm sure many other game reserves do in Southern Africa, is that they'll use specific subjects, like certain females, certain males, and they try and work out their territories and who they're interacting with. Uh, this, is, this is special formula, these milk, that's for antelope, mm -hmm. and this is, this is like for foals, for horses. And you can see that one drink very, very vigorously. This one is quite slow. Um, 
Yeah, and for his body, this one needed a little bit more milk than the zebra. But these are animals that got orphaned, and uh, what we do is we, we feed them for a certain, until a certain period, and then they must get back into the wild. And you can see at the back there's a donkey, and the donkey actually just helped that these animals associate with other animals and not with human. But it's quite interesting to see the difference. You can see how slow this one is suckling, and that one is really, really going for it. Our challenges in wildlife conservation is basically um, wildlife is so changed, the countryside is changed and reserves are fenced reserves now. There's, there's not really open wild spaces like it was in, 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 so it's actually a managed system and to get predator-prey ratios sorted out in a fenced reserve is actually quite difficult.